Hey guys, happy Friday, January 15th. Um, I'm actually heading out for a COVID test. Yep. Um, I don't know, I've been feeling really crappy the last few days and realized that I wasn't able to smell the pots of coffee I was brewing, so I got kind of nervous. Um, I've been very careful this entire almost past year, um, but you know, my kids are still going to school and stuff happens, so I'm heading down for a test just to be sure. I'm feeling a little bit better today than I was a couple days ago, so. Um, but of course, as soon as I schedule a COVID test, we get a blip, or yep, Lincoln is hit with a blizzard. So it's like the worst day this week. We had really fantastic weather early on in the week, and now that I have to leave, I'm all like covered in snow and high winds and blizzard and slick streets. So. Um, I'm gonna go get this test done and then get back home so I can just hunker down <laughs> um, for the weekend. It's a long weekend. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is Monday, so here in the States the kids do not have school and my office is closed, so I do not have to work on Monday. So we were already going to have a long three-day weekend and then today because of the blizzard conditions they canceled school. So. That means my kids get a four day weekend. They are both still in bed sleeping. It's 1030. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I'm heading off to this appointment and I'll check back here in a bit. Okay, so I have to say, I just got tested. It was not bad at all. Like, I was really nervous. I thought they were gonna touch my brain with that thing. Not the case. They just swab the inside of your nostril, each nostril for about five seconds. It's not super pleasant, but it's also, you know, wasn't like, like I said, scratching the surface of, surface of my brain through my nose or anything. So um, apparently it takes a couple days to get results back, which is fine. Um, it's the weekend and it's a long weekend, so I'm not planning on going anywhere. Um, but yeah, just, wanted to update you. I was going to be really creepy and try to, you know, film and record <laughs> while I was getting it done. Uh, but also I'm sure that no one would have wanted to see the faces I made when they stuck that thing up my nose. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, and I'm, I'm heading back home now and going to self-isolate in my house. Just got, you know, hunkered down for the long weekend and what better weekend to self-isolate, I guess. Anyway, I, I will check back in with you guys here in a bit. I'm sure you don't want to watch uh, my double chin as I, as I drive around through town. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. Um, it is January 16th and like I mentioned yesterday, it is a long weekend. So we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday and say hello Jazzy. <laughs> and uh, my plans for today are sweatpants, audiobook, crafting. I want to do nothing today. I'm still waiting to get my results back from my test yesterday, but uh, so because of that, laying low, staying low, obviously, self-quarantining. Um, but I'm hoping that once I get the all clear, um, Monday, since I have the day off from work, Monday is going to be a full-on dye studio day where I am going to dye up the glint and glitter clubs for January and get those ready to go and shipped out. Well, they won't ship out, but they'll at least be dyed. Um, and then I can hopefully ship them by the end of the week. And yeah, I want to do another shop restock while I'm also doing that. So trying to, maybe tomorrow I'll sit down and plan what I'd like to put back in the shop. Um, and obviously I'll bring you guys along with me. Um, the dye studio session might end up having to be in black and white because I don't want to spoil anything for people that are getting the clubs. It is a mystery club, so I can't show you colors or anything, but 
I'm sure we can find some other shenanigans to get up to. And this little girl, oh, just wants all the snuggles in the morning. We've got, I don't know if it'll focus, but we got quite a lot of snow in our little blizzard yesterday. Didn't we, Jazz? Did we get all the snow? Not quite sure what to think, are you? Or do you? All right, gonna grab my coffee, grab my audiobook. I'm listening to Serpent and Dove, um, which is one that's been on my list for a while. So I just got that off Audible and I'm a few chapters in so far. It's been really good, but I, I do love when I can just drown out all the other sounds with an audiobook and some crafting. So that's what I'm gonna spend my morning doing and then I'll check back in with you guys later. Sorry for the black and white film, but as I mentioned, this is the January Club colorway, so I didn't want to spoil the surprise for anyone who might be watching before receiving their club skein. Um, I will include all of this footage again in a later blog and create a montage where it is in full color once everyone has received their January clubs. But for now, I hope you enjoy seeing it in black and white. It's still a fun process to watch. so. Uh, please don't be mad at me. <laughs> I will show it in full color in all its glory soon. Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is January 17th, 
my nose is cold and red because I was just out in my dye studio. Um, wanted to pop on and let you guys know test results came back and they were negative. So yay, that's very good. So it must just be allergies, cold, all the other gunk that happens at the beginning of the year when you live in the Midwest. Um, so good news. Um, one last thing to kind of stress about. Um, because I got the okay and I made sure, you know, um, I did go out and do a little bit of grocery shopping and then I stopped by Knit Paper Scissors, which is my local yarn shop or one of the local yarn shops here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, Knit Paper Scissors is run by Angie, who is a wonderful human being and she's been very good to me over the last few years and I really enjoy her shop. It's beautiful. So if you're around, please make sure to stop in and check her out. Um, but I actually had received a message and I received a message from Lazy Bee Yarn, who I have mentioned previously. I've knit with her yarn. She is a local dyer here in Lincoln, Nebraska as well. Um, she's been in the game much longer than me and she dyes some beautiful stuff. I have made some socks out of some of her yarn as well as some other projects. Um, my Husker, Huscal, COVID knit along that I'm doing with knit paper scissors that is way behind, but I'll get back to it. Um, that is also using Lazy Bee Yarn. And um, she actually, Jessica reached out and messaged me on Instagram and said, hey, if you get a chance, if you're out and about, there is some yarn for you in the front of knit paper scissors waiting to be picked up. And I really wanted to share our new kit with you. So that gets me right in the feels. I'm so thankful, so blessed. So thank you if you're watching this. Um, I also wanted to not go into a yarn shop and not buy more yarn. <laughs> so I did make a purchase while I was there, but I wanted to make sure to share this with you guys. Um, I've just briefly taken it out of the bag to look. But hopefully this isn't giving too much away. No, I don't think so. Uh, their new Knit Along is the Bye Bye 2020 Sock. As you can see it here. It's just a beautiful colorwork sock with every um, section is a theme, is themed to 2020. And I just think that is so clever. Um, it says, say goodbye to 2020, knit away a year that started normal to a COVID shutdown, sheltering at home, learning to Zoom, from marches to RGB, maybe you adopted a pet, watching wildfires burn, a record-setting hurricane season, to a second wave, shortages of toilet paper again, finishing with a historic election and wearing a mask to say goodbye to 2020. As fiber artists, we, are, we rarely start out with history on our minds. We knit for our family, our friends, or for ourselves. But stitch by stitch, we are documenting history just as those who have gone before us. Someday a family member will find them and ask, what was that year like? What do we even say to, to that, to 2020? Um, so yeah, they so nicely gifted me a pattern as well as the kit of yarn. Um, it does come with 12 baby bees, which are mini skeins, I believe. Um, yeah, each one is 80 yards, so like a 20 gram mini. Um, here, I'll just share it. And then the COVID yellow color even glows in the dark under a black light. How fun is that? So here is the full kit. So it comes with 12 20 gram minis. They are all pre-wound, so that's fantastic, which means that I can literally jump right in. Here, I'll show the back. That is her logo and the information of the kit. And yeah, this is only available uh, through Knit Paper Scissors, but I do know that the pattern is on Ravelry. So I'm not sure if you can purchase a full kit online. I'm sure that you can, but do not quote me on that. Uh, definitely reach out to Angie at Knit Paper Scissors to see if she's offering them online and we'll ship them out. Um, but I do know for certain that the pattern itself is on Ravelry. So maybe you have some minis already or you want it to be a scrappy Sunday project. Um, this would be perfect. So I will leave a link to the pattern in the description box below. Um, 
but yeah it's called bye bye 2020 sock and I don't want to give too much away um, so I can't share but I will say that it is very well thought out um, charted color charted which is fabulous um, and then it gives you a little bit of of breakdown to each section to remember so for example January was the chill for most of us the year started as usual snow and cold it uses the white color and the dark gray um, and is a beautiful little snowflake pattern and then so each month you could see here that's where COVID started hitting in the month of March and then as you work your way down um, voting is in November and then December is ending 2020 and that's the bit that glows so super cute I will be casting these on as soon as I get a chance um, again you can knit this as fast as you want or as slow as you want I think I might take it month by month um, so just to obviously start with the cuff and then do the January strip and then once February rolls around I'll knit the February strip and so on so it'll be a full year-long color work sock project um, it does say that the kit contains enough to make two pairs of socks with possible color changes to the sections so that's pretty neat um, let's see and then the needles it calls for are your standard sock needles so whatever you're comfortable using this says a zero or a us one for the heel toe and cuff um, and then a one or a two for the color work portion but you want to make sure to get eight stitches per inch or your typical sock gauge um, I'll probably stick to a random one that's usually what I knit socks on I might go to a two just because it is color work but so yes make sure to hop over give this pattern some love I think it would be really fun um, I'm sure they're having a knit along or some sort of conversation around it in their Ravelry group or online. Um, again, I will definitely do some research for you guys and leave all those links down below if you're interested. Hey friends, future Allison here. I just wanted to pop in and actually say that I would love to give away one of these patterns. Um, you will have to find the yarn on your own, but I would be happy to gift you uh, a copy of the pattern on Ravelry. So what I want you to do is to comment down below this video and let me know what your biggest memory from 2020 was. It can be a good one, it can be a not so good one, maybe it was watching Tiger King with your family, um, whatever it was, comment down below and by the next video I'm going to randomly pick a winner or possibly two to gift this pattern to. Um, and in the meantime, definitely go check it out for yourself and maybe start hunting up some yarn to use. Yay! And I just want to say a huge, huge thank you um, to Jessica and Angie for allowing me to uh, be gifted one of these kits. And I'm so excited. I will definitely be casting them on as soon as I can. But like I said, one does not simply go into a yarn shop and not make a yarn purchase. My daughter actually, I was just gonna pop in the front door, grab my kit, and pop out. Um, because I knew if I stepped inside it, it would be a wrap. Um, but my daughter was with me and so she was like, oh, I just want to go see the shop. And I was like, okay, let's go make a quick pass. <laughs> Which turned into me grabbing uh, some more yarn. This again is Lazy Bee yarn and it is exclusive to Knit Paper Scissors. This is the Knit Lincoln uh, 2020 club or uh, monthly um, yeah monthly club where uh, she was dyeing up yarns um, inspired by places around Lincoln Nebraska um, I did knit my pair of socks I'll try to include a photo um, the sunken garden socks which turned out beautifully I actually wore them yesterday um, and this is another self-striping, and this is the Pinnacle Bank Arena colorway from, which is our brand new concert and venue uh, arena, uh, sporting arena, things like that. Brand new to Lincoln. Um, it's been open for a few years now. It's unfortunately it hasn't been getting a lot of love through COVID, but um, this will make an awesome pair of socks. And it looks like it was from March of 2020. Um, this is, again, exclusive to Knit Paper Scissors. I don't know if they're on the website or not, but um, she did have a lot of the other exclusive colorways 
um, there as well too. So I, I did see there was one more skein of the Sunken Gardens in there. I saw that one for sure, but I was, I was trying to not dig too deep because I figured I would walk away with way more than I even needed. So again, I'll leave links below, but yeah, this will make another beautiful pair of socks. And with all that being said, I'm going to go back upstairs and back out to the dye pots. I'm dyeing up the glint and glitter yarn clubs today. And let me tell you, they are already turning out beautiful. And I did not include one for myself. I'm already sad about it. But they're going to be so, so pretty. I'm so excited. I love, it's just, they're going to be magical for sure. So I can't wait to share those with you. Um, if I do take any footage, it will unfortunately have to be in black and white. Um, however, once those get shipped out, I may make another montage uh, for another studio vlog or something of the sort to put it in full color um, once everyone receives those so I don't spoil the surprise for anyone. But yeah, links to the Bye Bye 2020 sock below. Please check it out. Go look at it on Ravelry. I know that they are trying to... Um, just really spread the word and have some fun and say bye-bye to 2020, so why not? <laughs>